Big Bang. The beginning of time and space. The Big Bang is supported by a number of important observations. 1. The expansion of the universe. 2. Abundance of light elements like hydrogen, helium which may have fused from protons and neutrons within first few minutes of the explosion. 3. Cosmic background radiation implying universe was very hot initially. So what is our universe? consists of it turns out that 68 percent of the universe is dark energy dark matter makes up about 27 percent the rest everything on earth everything ever observed with all of our instruments all normal matter adds up to less than 5% of the universe. What is dark energy? More is unknown than is known. We know how much dark energy there is because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery. But it is an important mystery. What is dark matter? We are much more certain what dark matter is not than we are what it is. First, it is dark, meaning that it is not in the form of stars and planets that we see. Observations show that there is far too little visible matter in the universe to make up the 27% required by the observations. Second, it is not in the form of dark clouds of normal matter, matter made up of particles called brions. Third, dark matter is not antimatter because we do not see the unique gamma rays that are produced when antimatter annihilates with matter. The Big Bang model is not complete. For example, it does not explain why the universe is so uniform, on the very largest scales or, indeed, why it is so non-uniform on smaller scales, that is, how stars and galaxies came to be. The Big Bang model is based on the cosmological principle which assumes that matter in the universe is uniformly distributed on all scales, large and small. This is a very useful approximation that allows one to develop the basic Big Bang scenario, but a more complete understanding of our universe requires going beyond the cosmological principle. The Big Bang theory makes no attempt to explain how structures like stars and galaxies came to exist in the universe. The temperature of the cosmic microwave background CMB is observed to vary slightly across the sky. We yet don't know what produced these fluctuations and how do they relate to stars and galaxies. A very short, but especially rapid burst of growth in the very early universe inflation provides an elegant, yet untested, explanation of the Big Bang puzzles. So how did we get here? We simply don't know. We cannot rely on an untested theory to give us the ultimate answer. Just saying that Big Bang put us here would be a big stretch. 
We simply don't have enough understanding of the universe to have a solid answer. We do not understand the 68% of the universe which consists of dark energy. We only can see and observe 5% of the universe. With such a little understanding of the universe, it would be a fatal mistake to base our entire belief system on Big Bang. Even if we say that Big Bang is an ultimate truth, we cannot even begin to fathom what was before Big Bang. What may have caused Big Bang? What will happen to the universe in the future? Well, we may not live long enough to see what will happen to the universe. So then, what happens after we die, will more likely to affect us than what happens to the universe. What happens after death? We simply don't know. Just like we are not sure of what was before Big Bang. With such a limited knowledge and understanding, we cannot and probably should not discard the notion of a creator. It would not be wise. We may be taking a big chance by denying a creation theory, which no less more likely than the Big Bang theory. Something we need to ponder, sooner than later. So when vision is dazzled, and the moon darkens, and the sun and the moon are joined, Man will say on that day, where is the place of escape? No, there is no refuge. To your Lord, that day is the place of escape. Have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity, and we separated them, and made from water every living thing? Then will they not believe? And we placed within the earth firmly set mountains, lest it should shift with them. And we made therein mountain passes as roads that they might be guided. And we made the sky a protected ceiling, but they from its signs are turning away. And it is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. All heavenly bodies in an orbit are swimming. And the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed we are its expander. And the earth we have spread out, and excellent is the preparer. Be grieved by the greatest terror, and the angels will meet them saying, This is your day, which you have been promised.
the day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of a written sheet for the records. As we began the first creation, we will repeat it.